welcome yogi so good to have you here for our yoga practice heart-centered openings in this practice we focus on giving you activation for the day but doing this in a grounded way so you can stay centered and calm while being fully activated and as well on opening the heart space so all your actions are in alignment with what your heart really needs. We start laying down on our backs. Make yourself comfortable here. Inhale and exhale naturally through the nose. Don't control the breath here. Feel which parts of the body form a connection to your yoga mat, to the earth beneath you. And also notice here which parts of the body are completely free, have no contact at all to other body parts or your environment. Stay relaxed in your breathing and bring your focus to your heart center. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. And be aware of your heart center as being a multidimensional space. The heart space expands towards the chest, towards the back to the left side and to the right side of your torso and also towards your head and towards your feet. Breathe into this more dimensional space, every inhale giving you fresh energy and every exhale grounding you, centering you in your heart's energy. Now draw both knees towards your chest, grab the back of your knees, bring the chin to the chest and start rocking back and forth. Start rolling over the back, feel your spine and after a few rockings come to a seated position. Feel your spine, when you inhale the belly expands. When you exhale, belly button sinks back towards the spine, but the belly stays relaxed. Imagine inhaling fresh energy into a more dimensional space, exhaling, grounding into the heart center. Now come onto all fours, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips for a few rounds, cat cow. When you inhale, open the front of the body. When you exhale, round the back. Inhaling, push the sitting bones backwards into a resistance and lift the chest. Exhaling, round the back, relax the neck. In your own timing, following your own breath, flow through these movements and feel how the front of the heart space expands and the back and then start to make circular movements as if the spine would be a rope that you swing here you can also imagine your belly button drawing circles change as well the direction here your hands softly push into the ground so your shoulders stay stable here, don't sink into that area. The neck rolls with these movements if comfortable. Then come back to cow pose, extend the chest and the front. Then sit back on your heels, exhale fully, center into the heart space. 
the sitting bones becoming really heavy here. Neck relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And on your next inhalation, draw your nose close to the earth towards the front of the mat and then push up into cow. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, elbows stay close to the body. You push up into cow. Exhale, child's pose. Again, all the inhalation, you have time to move forward and come up with an open chest. Exhaling, relax. Keep your attention, your awareness on what happens around the heart space. And then we meet in child's pose again. On your next inhalation, roll up into cat pose. And from there, push your hips towards your wrists and then lift belly button and chest. Push the top of the feet into the ground. Variation of upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into child's pose. Inhale, like a wave, round the back, come up. Keep the back slightly rounded. Push the hips to the wrists and then extend the front of the body. Lift the chin. Exhaling, rounding the, the back, relax. A few more times if you like in your own rhythm or you can take a few more breaths in child's pose and then tuck your toes and on your next inhalation come into downward facing dog sitting bones pushing backwards and up tailbone drawing away from you pedal the feet the hands push equally into the ground, upper arms rotate outward, so the shoulders are stable and wide here. And feel the heart space here, feel the front towards the chest, feel the space between the shoulder blades wide and stable. Feel the sides of the torso lengthening here. Now start making little steps towards your hands for a first forward fold. You can keep the knees bent and rest the belly on your legs so the lower back can relax. Relax the neck if you like, grab the opposite elbows and do little rocking motions. Or you can make circling motions with your wrists. If they need a little relaxation after bearing the weight and cat cow and the other poses, you can draw an infinity sign with the tip of your nose if you like to relax the neck even more. And remember, every inhalation expands your torso more dimensionally to the back, the front, the sides, up and down. If you like, grab the elbows at the back of your knees, like you give yourself a little hug here. You can do this also with bent knees and then straighten the legs just as much as it's comfortable for you. And then loosen the grip and on your next inhalation, bend the knees a little bit more. And then roll up vertebrae by vertebrae into mountain pose, simple standing position. How do you feel now after dispersed conscious movements and breaths? Keep your awareness on the heart space, how it expands in all directions on the inhalation and then let the sitting bones drop as if you would sit on a chair. Fingertips reach to the sky. Push the armpits slightly forward and take the lower ribs in. Bring your hands to heart center and on the next exhalation, rotate the navel to the right side. Tuck the chin a little as if you would like to make a double chin to keep the neck long. And check your knees. If the left knee pushes forward, draw the left hip a little bit backwards so the knees are on equal height here. 
push your heels into the ground and then on the next inhalation come back to center extend the arms exhale swing the arms behind your back grab the hands extend the legs only as much as comfortable no pain in the body no tension in the body neck relaxed in this forward fold notice how the heart space feels in this position inhaling fresh energy exhale grounding and then drop the sitting bones again chair pose bring the hands to heart center lower ribs draw inwards and on the next exhalation rotate towards the right maybe your right elbow comes between your knees or out the side of the left knee don't force yourself don't push too much neck is long knees on equal height maybe you need to draw the right hip a little bit backwards and then inhale come back to center extend the arms exhale forward fold maybe knees bend inhale half forward fold spine is straight exhale full forward fold relax the neck and then step back with your right foot lower the right knee onto the mat if you have sensitive knees fold the mat double and then inhale raise the arms draw the navel away from the hip bones lift the heart a little bit more draw your left heel and your right knee energetically towards each other and then grab your right wrist with the left hand and move your navel towards the right and up and then lean the torso a little bit more to the left for a side bend here. Breathe, stay relaxed, relax your face, relax your hips, let the hips become heavy here and open. Feel how the side of your heart space expands here and on the next exhalation Extend the front leg, fold over the left leg, just as far as comfortable. You can keep a micro bend in the left knee. Neck is long, the top of your head and your sitting bones. Draw in opposite directions and then walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat to change the position. Now your left foot is forward right leg extended behind draw heel and knee towards each other and then inhale lift belly button lift the chest bring your armpit slightly forward extend the sides of your body equally and then grab your left wrist with the right hand move the navel to the left side and up for a side bend Maybe lean the torso a little bit more towards the right side. Inhaling fresh energy. Exhaling, bringing all awareness in the heart center. Really relax. Bring the hands to the mat, extend the right leg. Push sitting bones and crown of the head apart. The lower ribs draw slightly inwards. Right big toe wants to ground. Notice the contact points to the earth here. Now bend your right knee. Walk your hands via the left side all the way to the front of your mat again. Lower the right knee. Tuck the right toes and then step back into a four-legged position and from there into child's pose bring your hands to your heels your forehead rests on the ground check into your heart center feel your heart beat inhale fresh energy active energy for the day exhale all tension ground into your heart center your heartbeat
on your next inhalation bring your hands forward tuck the toes and push back into downward facing dog your hands push you away from the ground neck is relaxed keep a little contact between your belly and your legs so maybe you bend the knees so your lower back is protected here upper arms rotate outwards externally and then round your back move forward into a plank pose sitting bones pushing backward pubic bone drawing towards the navel heels pushing backward crown of the head slightly pushes forward the hands push you away from the floor you can do this also on fists if your wrists don't allow and then lower the knees lower the chest elbows close to the body stay here for a few breaths and then bring your belly to the ground push the top of your feet into the mat push the pubic bone into the floor and then interlace the fingers behind your back draw the elbows close and on your next inhalation draw your toes away from you and upwards and draw your hands backwards and up lift the chest neck is long imagine you want to make a little little double chin here for a variation of locust pose relax your face here the sides of the body are long but relaxed so you can breathe through the sides of the torso through the sides of the heart space and on the next exhalation lower down bring your hands next to your chest elbows close to the body push the pubic bone into the floor inhale lift the chest and from there push back into child's pose you could bring your hands to your feet if you like or make some fists here and rotate the fist inwards to stretch your wrists a little bit whatever variation you feel like right now and then slowly walk the hands closer to you lift up sit next to your feet bring the feet forward and then extend your left leg bring your right foot closer and put it on the outside of the left you could bring your left heel towards your right buttocks, but only if both sitting bones are able to ground here. If that's not possible, extend the left leg better. Make sure both sitting bones have good contact to your mat and then raise your left arm. Rotate the belly a little bit to the right. Hug your right knee and then extend the right arm open it behind you let it sink down into an easy twisting position here neck is long sitting bones push down while the crown of the head reaches towards the sky when you inhale your belly slightly expands when you exhale belly contracts also with the fresh energy on the inhalation, all the heart space expands. Exhaling, relaxing into the heart space. Then lift your right arm, lift the left arm. And from your navel, rotate to the left. Let both arms sink down. Soft counter twist here. Inhale, rotate back to the middle, raise the arms. And exhale, bring the arms down. Extend the right leg. And we change sides now bring your left foot on the outside of your right knee make sure both sitting bones can ground either with extended leg or right heel towards left buttocks and lift your right arm rotate the navel to the left and hug your left leg lift the left arm and rotate a little bit more into this twisting position Sitting bones grounded, face relaxed. Push your left knee a little bit more towards the right side. 
relax the hip joints inhaling all the heart space expands to all directions exhaling feel your heartbeat relax the body On your next inhale, rotate back to the middle, lift both arms and from the navel, rotate to the right one more time, arms sink down, shoulders relax, soft counter twist here to the opposite direction, inhaling, twisting back to the middle and exhaling, bring the arms down through the sides, extend both legs, shake the legs if you like. Maybe for the next pose, you want to sit elevated on a folded blanket or a bolster, a block maybe. It makes it easier for the hips to sit and fold into a forward fold and then extend both legs to the sides just as much as comfortable. Bring your fingertips behind you, straighten your spine and with a straight spine, bend from the hips, your fingertips move over the floor like breaks here. And when you notice that from the hips you can't fold anymore, bring your hands forward and relax. Relax the muscles around the spine, relax the hips, relax your face. Focus on your breath. When you inhale, expand the back, the front, the sides of the body. To push a few millimeters outwards. On your exhale, all the sides of the body contract a little bit. Inhaling fresh energy for the day. Exhaling into the peace of your heart space. Then move the torso up. Close your legs. Bring the feet onto the ground. Remove the blanket if you have sat on one. And then move your buttocks a little bit forward, extend your arms and then activate your core and vertebrae by vertebrae roll down to lie on your back and bring your hands to your belly and now bring your left ankle above the right knee, push the left knee slightly away from you, grab the back of the right knee and draw the right leg as much close to you as comfortable. Make sure your lower back stays on the mat. The lower back lifts from the mat. Maybe push the right leg a little bit further away from you. Push the back of your head softly and slightly into the ground. So the neck is long and stretched. Breathe relaxed, relax your face, relax your shoulders here. And then release and switch sides. Right ankle above left knee. Grab the back of the left knee. And draw the left leg. As close, as comfortable and as long as the lower back. And stay on the ground. We're coming closer to the end of the practice. So inhaling, imagine fresh energy filling you for the day. Exhaling, grounding into heart space to act in alignment with what you need, what you feel like. And then release the pose, extend both legs. Open your arms slightly to the sides, palms facing the sky. 
to receive good energy in your Shavasana final resting pose. Inhale through the nose, relax. And exhale out of the open mouth. Do this two more times if you like. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Last repetition. And then let your breath flow naturally again. Don't force it. Let the body do this job. Let the earth carry you. And just stay aware of your heart center. How it expands into all directions. And how it contracts from the outside to the center again. Pumping life energy through every cell of your body. And then start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists. Make all the movements you need right now for a final physical wake up for the body. One more time, stretch the whole body if you like or bring your knees to the chest. Or you could also roll onto your favorite side and whether knees to chest or favorite side, give yourself a little hug. Say thank you that you take the time to connect with yourself, to tune into your own rhythm, the flow of your own unique life energy. And then come into a last final seated position. Make sure the spine is straight, but stays relaxed. Don't bring tension into the spine. Sit elevated if you like, if that helps you. And one more time, feel your body, your spine. Bring your hands to heart center for the namaste. And I thank you so much for practicing it with me, sharing the energy and the breath. May your day be filled with wonders and miracles. Tune into the breath when you need it throughout the day. And I hope I see you soon again here for the next video. The light in me salutes the light in you. Namaste.